hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and uh today we're going to do a brilliant not brilliant bright and brilliant eyeshadow makeup look and for those of you who don't know me my name is naninga kore i hi i hope you're going to subscribe to this channel before you leave this channel yeah so i do makeup fashion and beauty and mostly just fun like i believe that makeup should be fun and happy and to just bring out the best in you and even the worst if possible because after all what frankly because makeup was made for drama yes it was makeup was made for drama for those of you who don't know so makeup was made for drama and uh there's been some drama going on on youtube not everyone knows this drama but i know that youtubers know this drama so either way even if you're not a youtuber this is some entertaining stuff so I might just be doing my makeup while you watch some of this drama. Recently, as I do my eyebrows, I'm just going to tell you how YouTube suggested for me a certain video. I had never actually subscribed to this lady. She is called Taste of Ray. Yes, Taste of Ray. Now, let me not get carried away and not do the makeup. But today, I'm just going to do my eyebrows according to the normal shape of my face. I'm not going to do them really high the way I normally do them. But a video was suggested to me uh, from a wonderful lady called Taste of Ray. Of course, all these channels, I'm going to link them in the description box below. But Test of Ray basically <laughs> had done a video about a famous YouTuber in Kenya. She's not that famous, but she's famous enough in Kenya. And she's called Kemunto Bear. <laughs> now, me, I rarely click on videos that, um, you know, show anger and like frustration towards somebody. I rarely click on those. But this one the way the video just started like i had to watch uh, kemuto is used to talking about people and this time umeguza papaya talk about all the youtubers you have met you have talked about miss trudy actually miss trudy is your main topic these guys were doing it outside there outside my room <laughs> Who made you God and died? Who made you God and died? Kemuto act your age your time meske yo maneno Meske yo maneno Yeah that's the reason I had to watch that video I'm going to use uh, a mascara an old mascara wand just to um that's what i always do basically i know that the eyebrows are not symmetrical okay they are so different even in shape i'm sorry guys but the story was so tantalizing so that video basically what test of ray was trying to say let me not narrate i'll just put for you guys there you see because uh it's it's something that i don't want to get into you know you get into something and the next thing you know you're being at gaobari there eh? You're, you're being huddled by the police, which is so unfortunate. But like, that's another story for another day. And I don't want to get into such things. I don't. I don't, guys. So I'm just going to take um, a primer, an eyeshadow primer. So basically, the reason I got so interested is because in a previous video, I had actually mentioned Kemunto Bear as one of my <coughs> favorite YouTubers. Second YouTuber. It's a lady called Kemunto Bear. And if you don't know Kemunto Bear, she's a very dramatic person with very dramatic thumbnails. But most of them are clickbait. But she has this like personality that. Now, I'm not one to judge people, of course, because we do not know her side of the story. But because I had mentioned her as one of my favorite YouTubers, I decided let me watch this video in its entirety to see exactly what this lady is saying about Kemunto Bear. Going high and her sister now African Nana and I was like, yeah, I was also even thinking you just come with African Nana, you guys can share a room for me, I'll take another room. So I'll be paying for accommodation but you guys will pay for your transport and food. That's That was the agreement. Of 
other than that, let's go back to the drama that is YouTube. I just hope I'll never get into such drama because it was quite unfortunate. I don't want to give any opinion eh, about this thing. But sasa the mahajabu, mahajabu ya Musa sasa hapa ndio iko. This chick was being nyanduliwa adapo tu inje kwa corridor on my corridor ya room yangu. Can you imagine? I found them doing it. The watchman has found them doing it. Kamu went around saying I wanted to 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 take you away from her. Huh? Mwambe you don't need to be taken away from. But tell her you're offering your services to me for free. Tell her you've been lying at me. You're in my inbox. You're on. You're in my WhatsApp. You're everywhere. Tell her. Tell her. Let me imagine. I don't care about anything. It was entertaining though, guys. Honestly, it was so so entertaining. It was unfortunate that that had to happen, but it was entertaining. But and I, as I've said, I'm not going to like say anything about this this stuff. And um, so <laughs> recently, I was on Kemoto Bear's page just to confirm like all this drama. Yeah, and uh, I discovered that she had uploaded a video actually saying that her boyfriend her boyfriend had gotten her an iPhone 12. Now. I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow. As I said, I'm doing a very bright makeup look. I know black is not bright, but I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow. I'm doing a black, an orange smoky eye. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. And I'm looking for the mirror. Oh, it's actually so big, this mirror. So I'm going to apply this in the crease of my eye. Babe just bought me an iPhone 12 Pro. With 256 gigabytes. Oh my god, let's just unbox it. I'm so happy. <laughs> Mumeona, iPhone 12. So the boyfriend has gotten her an iPhone 12. Now, Kemuto Bear hasn't mentioned anything about all the drama and all. What do you guys think of YouTube drama and all that? I know even me one day, sometimes drama follows people. Hopefully, it will never follow me. But, yeah, it's it's just quite unfortunate. Like, I was so shocked considering what I had said that she's one of my favorite YouTubers. I don't know her side of the story and I'm not going to comment about her side of the story. But it was quite entertaining. And you can find the links of those videos in the description box below or basically of the channels, of the two channels. It's just crazy, guys. It's just crazy. It's a mad world. And I look mad. But we are going to look fabulous in a minute. Taking this neon orange eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply it like on top here. I think I've taken too much. Sorry, guys, for that. But we are going to just apply it on top. Okay, honestly, I look crazy, but trust the process. The black <laughs> brush, and I'm just going to like blend that in. You know. And I'm gonna go back in with another brush and just blend this out the orange I need it blended out
so you know guys i went to the comment section and i actually saw like so many people had commented that oh that is kemunto bear's character she even did that to um another lady that i also mentioned in my video that i follow who is um nilotic empress and i actually followed nilotic empress uh because of kemunto bear so i actually loved Kem kemunto bear that much and as i've said i'm not going to comment on these issues but i just saw in the comments like people had really hated like what 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 even me i actually wrote a comment like I was shocked, I was surprised, but I still do not know her side of the story and she has not mentioned anything. So I don't know, what do you guys think about all this beef? Because I saw such beef in um, the Americas with like Trisha Peters, who happens to be a very famous American YouTuber. And I saw her beefing with so many YouTubers and, you know, it's like, what what what's wrong with youtubers like what is it can't we live in peace and harmony but anyway i guess it's like that everywhere all over the like, world is it that youtubers are like politicians like what's up what's up so next i'm just going to do I, by the way guys i actually forgot to define my brows which is something i never do i guess it's because i'm trying a new format of filming and i'm kind of just kind of confused i guess but anyway we can just ignore because i've even applied um that down there this eyebrow is really letting me down maybe i can define that one a bit and shape it into the same shape as this other one you know just a bit yeah so I'm also going to apply um concealer right here, like to create a cut crease. Okay, now that we are done with that, what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to take my, uh, what is it called, eyeliner, and I'm going to create a wing. Just blend out this concealer first, and then I'll take my eyeliner and create a wing. So guys, I told you trust the process. As you can see, it's becoming a bit thin. Guys, just tell me in the comment section what you think about this drama, because I was actually shocked. Like, uh, there are so many Kenyan YouTubers and Kemunto Bear was actually among the first Kenyan YouTubers for me to follow. And I, I was surprised. I was surprised. Like, I, I really don't want to comment on it. It's just so shocking. It's shocking, guys. It's shocking. But um, Taste of Ray did sound genuine when she was saying all this stuff. Uh, let me... Uh, uh, I was taking my eyeliner, so I'm just going to take this Maybelline Hyper Precise Eyeliner and I'm just going to apply it first before I do the rest of the makeup.
But considering that that boyfriend actually got Kemonto Bear a uh, an iPhone 12, we know what that means. We know what that means. We know what that means. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I wish all both YouTubers luck because those are matters I really don't want to get into. Yeah. So, eh, yeah. Let's just now I'm proceed seriously with the makeup. <laughs> I'm thinking as if the black has gone back into the concealer that we applied. So I'm just going to put some more, just a little bit more, just to demarcate properly. Because it's a smoky eye and I don't want it to be so harsh. I'll just leave it like that. I'm going to apply some glitters. And I just got this little glitter palette of AliExpress so a while back. And I'm just going to take this brown right here. Ta -da. It can just be like brown and like gold and like all that. I really hate working with glitter palettes. We are not yet done guys, not yet. So I'm just going to apply this like under my eyes and then I'll do eyelashes. Cause this look has to go with eyelashes. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, okay, let's start with the inner corner. Okay, we are done with that. And I'm going to take again, take a Q tip, and I'm going to clean this excess fallout, which is a lot. Also, this one is messy. I'm not the only oldie in here, guys. So let me put the lashes and then we're gonna finish this makeup look hurriedly. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm so happy with the Nivea. This acne is just hormonal and also face masks and all, but the Nivea has done a wonderful job. It has. It really has. 
right now we have our lashes on so next we're going to do are they wonky today let me see if they're wonky I keep for real i'll just start doing like half lashes because seriously yeah so next we're going to do some foundation and then concealer and i'm going to use this clinique foundation this one here that and this camera is so bogus it never focuses yeah but anyway whatever let me change it in to what to what to what Oh, I've known the problem. Let's see whether it will focus. It's not focusing, but anyway, you get the point. I'm getting using this even better foundation, and I'm just going to apply it all over my face. Hope it's my color. Because now that this Nivea has really removed the dark spots, I'm seeing as if my color has changed again. But it's fine. It's fine. Sort of. Yeah, I've I've I've, I've used it in abundance, guys. So I'm just going to take a stippling brush and I'm just going to stipple, stipple, stipple. I feel like it's slightly darker or red, I don't know, but it's fine. It's blending well. By the way, this is the shade Pecan. In case you're interested in knowing the shade of this foundation that I'm using. There's a fly annoying me here. Make sure you blend, blend, blend. Blend like you're being paid to blend. And for concealer, I'm going to use two concealers, just like the previous video. For those of you who watched the previous video, I did use two concealers. So I'm going to apply this to Revlon first. It's really light, but I normally prefer it because it's really like opaque. And you know that's good for a concealer. If it's going to hide your dark circles, it better be opaque. And then I'll coat it with the Maybelline one. And you just want to look at... Yeah, then I'll just use the Maybelline one like to sort of color correct it because it's a bit too light. I'm just going to take a beauty blender, a damp one, and try and blend away again. what I meant by blend like you've been paid to blend okay so that is done I think I'm going to do some setting spray and then I'll do lips and then setting powder do -do 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 -do. Oh, oh too much oh that was a lot Yeah, 
so that's okay and oh, next i'm just going to take this super stay matte ink and i'm going to apply it in my lips you guys know the drill you know the drill okay to smear it on and blend into the pencil until it looks nice and blended if you need me you add more pencil yeah baby then we are going to take this Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Polish and we are going to apply it all around also. Like that. And blend. And blend. And blend. And blend. We're done! Voila! So, time for the powder. Time for the powder. Because this dewy finish is looking good, but not as good as a matte finish. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take the setting powder, which is Maybelline's Fit Me. And today, I'm, I think I'm going to do blush today. It's been long since I did blush. So today, I'm going to do blush. Wait a minute. I've been seeing people do freckles. Now, freckles need like a nude face. So, I'm going to take this fake Huda Beauty. I have to say that it's fake palette and take this blush here. But only after I've set my face with this Maybelline Fit Me matte and poreless foundation in the shade toffee i grew up eating toffees they messed up my teeth but i'm using makeup called toffee so i'm just going to apply all over practically all over because i want a matte finish Except like the the places of concealed, I'll avoid them. I'll avoid, avoid them, avoid. Remember those days when Britney used to sing with vibratos? <laughs> Don't sue me for being not funny. Wow. I feel good. Time to chop off my African nose. Cause they said that it was ugly. Time to chop it off. Chop off those flared nostrils. Kidding. Just contouring flared nostrils. And making them look slimmer. So I normally use like an eyeshadow that is dark brown in color. So I start from the top, draw a line all the way down, draw a line all the way down, like that, and then no, well, at least this, that that line shows me where to dwell on. So it's like. A guide. So, once I'm done with that, I blend. 
so that it doesn't look harsh. Like that. Poor contouring because I have a broken nose, but it's contouring all the same. Uh, next, we're going to highlight the face. We cannot fail to highlight the face. And I'm just going to use this Master Chrome highlighter. Yeah. Today I'm going to use a big old brush. Big old brush. A big old brush. <laughs> Look at that highlight. Wah! Yeah. Look at the damn old highlight. Big old brush. Then I'm going to take some pink because they told us that even if our dark skin doesn't turn pink, we have to put blush in it. So I'm going to put this fake blush and dab. Dab, 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 dab. Damn, that is not good. <laughs> Just going to dab, dab. I, I think I put the blush on the wrong way. Why? Goodness, I look like, I don't know what I look like. Finito! My pores are huge, guys. What do you think I can do for these pores? If you know what can reduce pores, let me know in the comments se comment section. Something that is not invasive, something that doesn't cost a lot of money, is affordable, preferably DIY. <laughs> yeah, let me know in the comment section what can reduce. Hey guys, pores. we did not yeah. need the eyebrows after all. Yeah, so I just want a wig. And this is the finished makeup look. Very simple, very easy to do. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. But I always say that about everything. So take it with a grain of salt. But I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. And comment down below anything about the drama, about everything. And tell me if you enjoyed this video in the comment section. And I'll see you in my next video. Hoping that you have already subscribed. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.